this summer I worked under Dr. Goldburn's um, soft materials research lab and I worked closely with the graduate student Yango Kim. So the focus of our research was on shape memory polymer, also known as SMP actuation and um, sensor testing. And I will talk um, more about them in detail. And to give a brief explanation on the shape memory polymer, SMP is one of the smart materials that have a unique characteristic. Here I have a heater and on top of the heater I put an SMP piece. Right now, SMP is in its permanent or original shape. Now it's heated to its glass transition temperature at about 60 degrees Celsius and I'm deforming the SMP piece. You can now see that SMP piece is now in a deformed or temporary state. Now I'm going to apply an external stimulus, in this case a heat. And you can see that SMP is slowly coming back to its original permanent state. And we are applying this unique characteristic to develop micropillar SMP actuators. Prior to making micropillar SMP, I made macropillar SMP. And to make them, I first used a 3D printer to print a sample to be used as a silicone elastomer mold where SMP would be poured in. And the print looks something like this. Using Yakaki's method, I made SMP solution and swirled it for 5 minutes. Then UV cured for 15 minutes and heated it into the oven at 100 degrees Celsius for an hour. And here we have a hardened macropillar SMP. Another experiment Yangwu and I carried out was a dynamic testing of micropillar PDM sensors. Using Instron and capacitance meter, we can get a force and capacitance data. The straw here is giving a force on the sample and it's moving down and up. And this shows the change in capacitance as load is applied to the sample. And further experiments will be conducted to develop this microstructured sensors.